Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a new episode of Words of Wellness. I'm your host Yasser Manawi, a clinical therapist. Today we're going to be talking about character, human character. Uh, we're going to be talking about patience and we're going to be talking about self-knowledge. How do we get to know ourselves? Uh, we have a surah from the Quran. We're going to be reading the surah and then we continue to discuss uh, what we have just mentioned. It's a translation from Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, and the translation, ayah number 45, and seek help through patience and prayer. And indeed, it is difficult except for, th for the humbly submissive. Seek help through patience. Patience is very important. It's a very important issue that a lot of us lack on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot of us lack in our relationships with others. Uh, even we lack it with ourselves. A lot of people are not patient with themselves. What happens, uh, we usually say that patience is a virtue. Uh, that means it is not easy to attain. It's something that is difficult and we have to work on it. But let's see. In order for me to get to know myself, or in order for somebody to get to know themselves, they have to be patient. They cannot just know it on a whim, or in a day, or two. It takes some time. I usually say to everybody that comes for treatment is that they need to have a relationship with themselves which should take about a year. Uh, but let's say, how do we do that? There is a process. And there are certain issues that we need to know in order for us to get to know ourselves. These issues are, uh, we have to take a look at ourselves as, uh, let's say, a computer. We all are uh, acquainted with computers right now. You have information that goes in, it gets processed, and then you have the output. We work basically the same way. Human beings work the same way. You have an external event external event, anything that happens outside of us, and then it goes inside to our filters or through our filters, which is what we call the internal representation. And then as a result of that, we have the behavior that comes out afterwards. So what do I need to know in this process? I need to know uh, what are my uh, internal representation. What are my filters? What does it do? In order for us to talk about filters, first they have a function. What's the function of the filter? Filters, they delete information, they distort information, and they generalize information, unless if they are healthy filters. So let's see. What does filters consist of? Filters consist of Values, belief system, attitudes, decisions, languages, and upbringing, or all the memories and experiences that we have. These are the filters. So if I take a look at these filters, they actually are almost like a map inside of me, which is what we call neurology. So the neurology, the information comes from the outside, there is a certain neural pathway in everybody's brain that the filters, or uh, these are the filters, that they get processed and they get uh, explained to myself, which is the self-talk. I talk to myself and everybody talks to themselves about what we see outside. To be able to explain this further, uh, you can do it right now where you're standing or where you're sitting. Uh, let's say if you're sitting in a room with your family members, you have a picture on the wall, ask everybody what do they see in the picture. And I would believe that everybody will see it his or her own way. No, the, you're not going to find two people that will give you the same explanation for the same picture. It's always going to be different. What does that mean? It means that everybody looks at things differently. Everybody is an individual and have their own and have their own explanation for things. So let's see if I now have uh, a childhood that was not, or an upbringing that was not altogether, it was not stable. 
what's going to happen to me? I am going to have skewed filters. I'm going to have skewed way of looking at life and at the information that's coming at me. Meaning that uh, somebody could look at me, for instance, or could look at anybody else, and I would think deep inside of me, why are they looking at me like that? What's going on? Uh, if I find two people talking to each other, I could actually think that, well, are they talking about me? And this is all the stuff that's going on inside. This is internal representation. Uh, after the internal representation, you have the internal state. I tell myself things, and then it causes me to feel a certain way. That's the internal state. Uh, it could make me feel happy, it could make, 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 make me feel sad, it could make me feel upset, it could make me feel angry. So there is a variety of things that I could feel. So first you have internal representation, and the, you, have, you have internal state, and then you have the physiology. This is the third one. It affect, the internal representation and internal state, it affects my physiology. And I can give you a simple example for that. If you see somebody who's being treated well by somebody else, they're always smiling and laughing, and uh, they like them. Uh, so they do things for them. Uh, if you see somebody that's not liking somebody else, you, they will always give them the what I call the long face, uh, or they don't want to be with them, and their physiology will indicate how they feel inside. All of that, you put number one, two, and three, which is internal representation, internal state, and physiology, it gives you what? Your behavior. It translates into a behavior that you actually feel inside. So if I want to change my behavior, what do I need to do? I need to go back inside and look at my filters. If they are not correct, I need to start correcting my filter, which is what? Rewriting the map. When I rewrite the map, I correct the information that's coming in. And as a result, it will be processed correctly, and it will go back out in a correct manner. Um, let's see. I want to go back to the internal representation. That's, if you want to put all of these in a question form, you will see how do we do things is the internal representation. That's how we do things. Why we do things is the internal state. That's why we do things. And what do we do, which is a physiology, is what we do. So how, why, and what. This is the process that we go in. So the deeper you go, the more you're able to uh, find out about yourself. But this process needs patience. It's not an easy process. You need to challenge yourself. You need to delve into your own psyche, and you need to find out what's going on in there in order for you to correct your behavior. And uh, we will probably be talking again about this issue, this issue in details in a different episode. With these words, I hope it was really uh, beneficial for you. And we'll see you again in a new episode of Words of Wellness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.